Hi guys, my name is Elizan and I am known as Zen the Vlogger. Hope your guys got, I hope your day was going good. Today I'm going to tell you about a story. If you listen, you will shocked. And this story about that would you ever fall for a scheme that offer you you to buy the Taj Mahal? While it may seem difficult to believe it today, but just a few decades ago there was a man who with his clever shyster and a sly all and sly ways saw in son sewell dreams in the form of the Taj Mahal and actually tricked people into believing him. Meet India's most popular cone man, Natwar Lo, Natwar Lal, who even inspired a movie with the same name starring Amita Bachchan. He stand up for his amusing ways for notoriousness in the history of India. In the history of India, con men. Born as Mithilesh Kumar Sarvistava in Bangra village of Sivan district, Bihar Natwar Lal was a liar by profession before he started duping people of their money. He was a clever imposter and used for more than 50 aliases to dupe people. The master who actually even swindled prominent businessmen, including Tata Birla, Mittal, and the uh, Ambenis. That's not all. He had mastered the art of farging signatures of famous personalities before he set his sight on sealing historical landmarks of the country to everyone's surprise. He successfully sold Taj Mahal, Redford, Rashtra, Rashtrapati Bhavan, and the Parliament House of India, along with its 545 sitting members. As reported by the Hindustan Times, a 21-year post as the director of Indra Par Indra Prashta Automobiles PVT LCD and fraud and fraudulently withdrew around rupees 90 lakh from the account. Not where law was wanted in more than 100 cases by the police of eight states across India, which earned him 113 years in prison. Out of his he hardly he hardly served 20 years of imprisonment. He was arrested nine times, and every time he made daring escape. In one of the incidents, he stole a police officer's uniform and casually walked out of jail. He was 85, 84 years old in 1996 when he was arrested for the last time. This time, too, he managed to escape. Just like his life, his death was also a mystery. While his lawyers claimed that they died on July 25, 2009, his brothers Ganga Prasad claimed to have cremated him 1996 in Ranchi. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and please like this video and share this video with your younger and uh, older friends and with your family. And everywhere you have to share this on your status, everywhere. It's time to end our video. Okay, bye bye.